The name of the markets right now is really earnings and possible relief bill. This morning, mixed bag of earnings, we got McDonald's and 3M both on the downside, casting a little weight on the overall market. After the bell today, Visa, AMD, Amgen, eBay, Mondelez, Starbucks, just to name a few, the big fangs on Thursday. So far, 160 of the S&P 500 companies have reported 81% have beaten on the top line. Tomorrow, we'll get a Fed announcement. Nothing new really expected in terms of, of interest rates, but the rift in Congress that we're seeing right now over the next coronavirus relief package, especially when, when concerning unemployment benefits, that is really casting a cloud on the markets. Earlier this morning, we got the Conference Board Consumer Confidence number, which fell in July, much below expectation. Yesterday, ES option data, about 257,000 options traded 63% on the put side. Volume leaders were the end of month, July 3250 call, 3,300 of those traded. The end of week one, so next week, August 1850 put. Yes, way down there, 2,800 of those traded. The end of month, July 3,100 put, 2,400 of those traded. And the end of month, July 3,100 call, 1,900 of those traded. Little bit volatility back in the marketplace. So we asked ES options pricing in a move in the S&P to the end of the week, about $54. We've got to talk about Bitcoin and the move that it's made over the last couple of days. Today, very muted move after this major run, but we saw a ton of short covering around the 10,200 number just two days ago after weeks of low volatility and sideways movement. And we saw Bitcoin propel over 11,000. It's actually up 11% in just the last week. Now, watch, traders are watching for a gap fill in CME futures, which is way up above at, at 11,900. That could be the next point that, that it reaches though, but volume here at the CME, CME Bitcoin futures volume soaring. Yesterday, over 25,000 contracts. Today, over 20,000 contracts.